This is Anish Vijay with another tutorial and this is on cloth uh, dynamics and how to use it to to fix some parts like for your animation so that it looks more realistic. So I had a problem with this rig. Um, I realized the legs go through the robe and that's not good so I added some cloth dynamics. So uh, what it does is acts accordingly, deforms the mesh and yeah, it, frames per second is really low because I am recording, uh, of course. And, and you can always bake the dynamics so that there's no lag when you're recording, um, when you're when you're doing your thing. Um, so uh, let me show you the C motion walk. Uh, this is a character I made. Uh, I also use Balder mods. Uh, thing to make characters like switch pretty cool idea put his video and link in the description for that uh, I mean put his channel link so he walks with no glitches on the cloth that's why you see in the, the egg adventures with Steve or whatever um, in elemental animation or whatever its name is uh, you see that the the testificates they don't have they don't show their legs because there's there are no cloth dynamics there so if they walk um, you see the legs going through the ropes so that's not good okay so um, let's get to the tutorial I'm gonna be I'll just delete this cloth over here delete that go to get uh, you can download this from Balder Mods, this guy. And then I'll put the li video link in the description also. And then just texture, get the robes out. So this is the robes without any cloud dynamics. And by the way, I did the IK and everything. So, um, and I also made the mouth and the eyebrows. I made it into user data and everything. So he has just a rig kind of normal rig okay so let's get this this these robes have so look when you move the legs it goes through the robes to fix it cloud dynamics okay so let's okay now we need to select the area we need cloth onto so let's we need we need it quite high in the robes because um if the cloth is intersecting with the leg a little that then it just glitches out so we need really high on the leg on the rope so kind of here maybe and then we right click split and press the delete so now we have two pieces just like this this is what i love about cinema 40 they just make everything easy and R14 is supposed to be having so many new features about camera tracking, sculpting, and sculpting is really amazing because you need a different program for that, and they're just making it into one program. So that's pretty cool. Um, split, eight. Oops, missed one. Split, delete, delete, delete. Okay, so now we should have two like this. Right click. Simulations, cloth, right click, simulations, cloth. Select both the cloths and then alliterations at 6. Off this if you want to reduce lag. It's not really necessary for this type of cloth. Um, and then we need to add the belt now. Cloth belt. The belt holds it in place. If you hit play right now, it'll just fall. And the belt will hold it and attach it to whatever you want, like a robe. It doesn't attach to bones, uh, so we're going to attach it to this over here. Um, so go to Edge Select. Or we can actually optimize it right now so that we don't have any. Actually, no, it's okay. Never mind. So now select the robes. No, select one robe, and we need to pick the points we need it to attach to. So let's go UL 
to get loop selection and then ul again ul and then stop boundary edges hold control and then off that then go to the belt which has the rope like we selected this rope so this belt grab the this one this one just grab it into the rope uh, into the thing and then press set and off draw and now we should have it attached to the rope and when we move the robe, it should move correctly like this. So it should move with the robe. And why is that? Oh, because I have a cloth collider there. Okay, so let's attach the other one also. Actually, I'm just gonna work with one for now. So let's just delete it. You can do the same for the other one. Um. Okay, now we need to add the collider. Um, so let me just delete the collider I had on this leg right now. It's actually a separate object uh, because the leg. I'll explain it later. Um, so right now, when I move the leg, and I hit play, and I move the leg, nothing happens because there's no collider. Um, to add the collider, we need to add it. Make a separate object. So make a plan, 25, 75, that's the size of the leg, 0, 0, and minus Z. Uh, do you see, okay, the problem we have is when the when you rotate it and the Z axis, we need it facing the colli colli collision, like say the Z axis is going this direction, that means that uh, the cloth is going to collide with this face and not with this face. So, if you put it in this direction, the cloth will just go straight through it. And if you put it in this direction, it'll just it's a this is the ah, this is the face which will collide with it. I don't know why it's like that, but that's the way it is. So, so the z-axis must be at the back. Now move it into position. I hold shift actually press E snap settings on 6.25 type in 6.25 and then just move it into position like this and now we want to sub subdivide the same amount of times as this leg so that it moves the correct like the same as the leg so subdivide 3 that's the same as my leg oh oh I'm selecting the wrong item commands oh, where is my plan? oh I have to make it editable press C mesh commands subdivide 3 okay so now we have that done copy and paste rotate it this direction it's important you rotate it the correct direction and the z-axis is in the correct way copy paste rotate rotate it this way make sure the z-axis correct place can't emphasize it enough. Copy paste, rotate, move it here, and okay. Now select all four, right click, connect plus delete, and then right click, simulation tags, collider, cloud collider, and then just bind it to the leg, uh, bind it to the leg joints. And then you have a cloth collider. It's just that simple. Okay, so this concludes this tutorial. Um, that was weird. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.